Hello, my name is Joel Christ. I'm a developer with Econo Systems, and today I'm going to be doing a walk through some code that's going to illustrate how to programmatically save a Word 2007 document to the PDF and XPS formats. Today we're going to be using Visual Studio 2005 to create ourselves a simple console application that's going to allow us to programmatically control Word 2007 via its object model to open an existing Word document and then convert it or export it as an XPS file. So the first thing we're going to do is come in here and create a new project in Visual Studio. And we're going to do it in Visual Basic.net. We're going to create a console application and we're going to call it Convert Doc. Say OK. Now before we can program against Word's object model, we need to add a reference to the Word 2007 interop assembly. So the way we do that is to come to the Solution Explorer and choose to add a reference. Now an easy way to do that, if, if you don't see the Add References folder, is to click on the Show All Files button and then right click on the references folder once it's displayed and click on the add reference menu item and then in the add reference dialog box it gets displayed on the com tab select the entry for the word 12.0 object library so let's find that and here it is right here word 12.0 object library that's the assembly for that's the uh, word 2007 interop assembly so let's go ahead and say okay that will cause Visual Studio to add a reference to that assembly for us. Now to make our life a little bit easier, um, we're going to add an import statement for the namespace that's in that assembly for the word interop namespace so that we can reference objects and classes and types within that namespace without having to use the fully qualified namespace path. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now let's go ahead and paste in the actual code that's going to open the Word document and then export it in the format that we want. All right, let's take a look at what the code's doing that we just pasted in. It goes ahead and declares a couple of variables to hold on to references to the Word objects that we're going to be working with. In that, this case here, it's the top-level application class and object and also the document object for the document we're going to convert. And then it declares a variable to hold um, the path to the document that we're going to convert. And as you can see, we're initializing that to the conference agenda document that's sitting out on my desktop. And the next thing the code does is declares a couple of variables to be used with the document.export as fixed format method. Now the document.export as fixed format method is a method that's available to allow you to export a document in either the PDF or XPS formats. And this functionality is available to you if you've downloaded the save as PDF or save as XPS, XPS add-ins for Microsoft Office programs from the download center on Microsoft.com. And that's what we're going to make a call to down below to actually export our document. So we declare first a variable to hold um, the path for the location of the file we want to export to. So again, we're going to place it out on the desktop, give it the same base name of conference agenda, but we're going to put an XPS extension on the end of it so we know it's an XPS file. And then we're specifying um, the format. We're using this variable here to hold the value of the format we want to have the file exported to. And we're using this word export format enumerated type. And right now we're specifying we want to do an XPS. If we wanted to do it in PDF, as you see, we can choose the word export format PDF value from the enumerated type if we wanted to. But today, we're going to go ahead and do it in XPS. So the first thing the code does is it creates a try-catch block. Now the reason we're doing this is because the call to the export as fixed format method will fail if you haven't actually downloaded and installed um, the add in the save as PDF or save as XPS add-in um, that supports the format you're trying to export in. So in this case here, since we're trying to export in the XPS format, if we didn't have the save as XPS format um, add-in installed, then when we made the call to the export as fixed format method, we would get an exception generated. So to handle that situation, we wrap it in a try-catch block. And then inside there, we go ahead and instantiate Word, get Word running, save a reference here in our variable. And then we use the documents.open method to open up our existing document on our desktop by passing in the path here to our existing file. Then the next thing the code does is it calls the export as fixed format method off the document object, passing in our two parameters, the path that we want to export to, and then the format, XPS in this case here. Now, as you can see, the export as fixed format method accepts a large number of parameters. Um, only two are required, the export file path and the export format, which we're specifying today. All the other parameters are optional, and they allow you to control things such as um, 
whether or not you want to have the document opened in a viewer after you've exported it. Um, if you want to have the output optimized for printing or for screen display, you can also specify things like a range of the document that you want to export and this type of stuff. Um, for the purposes of the illustration and for this example today, we're only going to specify these two parameters here, um, the two required parameters. If you want more information on the different parameters and their values and what the default values are for the different parameters for the export as fixed format method, um, you can refer to the word developer reference on MSDN. So after exporting the document, um, the code then goes ahead and does some cleanup and gets out. So it, it goes ahead and closes the Word document, releases the reference to the object, um, quits Word, and releases our reference to the application class object, and then calls the .NET garbage collector to make sure everything's cleaned up so that Word will unload cleanly and completely from memory. So let's go ahead and build the code. And it looks like the build succeeded. Now before we run it, let's go take a look at my desktop. And you can see here's the conference agenda document out on the desktop that we're going to convert. If I open it up, you can see right now it's just using the standard conference agenda template that you can download from the Office Online site. Um, and I haven't modified um, any of the content, so it's just a standard template. But what we're going to do now when we run our code, if we go back over to Visual Studio, is open that document and then save it out in XPS format. So it looks like it ran to completion. I'll say OK. Now let's go take a look at our desktop. And now we see our conference agenda.xps file out there. And if we open it up, you can see it's our Word document content. But now it's in an XPS format. And it's being displayed in Internet Explorer as an XPS file. So by downloading and installing the Save as XPS add-in and then making a single call to the export as fixed format method, we were able to take an existing Word document and have its content saved out in the XPS file format.